This is Michael Smith of MedPage Today. I'm in San Diego at the annual meeting of the American Thoracic Society. There is evidence in the medical literature that women who smoke during pregnancy will have children at increased risk of smoking as adults, but that doesn't capture the whole picture, according to Dr. Ronnie Grad of the University of Arizona. He and colleagues looked at smoking behavior among participants in the long-running Tucson Children's Respiratory Study. There were six groups that we identified. There was a group where, looking at mothers at least, we had six groups. One where the mothers never smoked at all, and at any of these time points. One where the mothers smoked prenatally and during the early years of the child, um, so um, two weeks, two months, and two years, but not anymore when the child went to school um, and later. Then we had early smokers, early maternal smokers, who said they did not smoke during pregnancy, smoked during the early, their first few years of the child's life, and then not afterwards. Um, and then we had um, parents, mothers who smoked only while the children were at school, so did not smoke early in life, but somehow took up the habit. Well, we thought we would just see all the different variants that we had. And then we had mothers that smoked at all the time points, and then mothers that smoked only during the early years of the child and when the child was in school. So the point, the take home message from that slide is there is not a single mother who only smoked during pregnancy and who had given up immediately when the child was born. So I think the important thing is a lot of the studies that assign things to pregnancy only, you can't really tell that that indeed um, is the case. The findings implicated the period after the child was born and before he or she started school. Then we looked at smoking at age 22 by maternal groups, and we found that children, that the offspring at 22 were much more likely to be regular smokers if the mothers smoked early on in life. Um, so any of the groups where the mothers smoked in early life, either pregnancy in early life, early life only, pregnancy early life in school age, early life in school age only, they were much more likely to be smokers if the mothers, re relative to the mothers never smoking. Um, and, and relative to school age years only. Exactly how that early exposure affects children remains unclear, but Dr. Grad suggests there may be some sort of biological priming. When we looked at the whole universe of offspring that were smoking at the age of 22, 28% of smoking at the age of 22 could be explained by exposure to the mother smoking during pregnancy and or early life. So what we're thinking from all of this is that maternal smoking during pregnancy in the preschool years is clearly a predictor of chronic smoking in the offspring at the age of 22. And what we speculate is that um, that, that exposure early on to maternal smoking somehow biologically will prime um, the children, the offspring, to become regular smokers um, as young adults. In San Diego, I'm Michael Smith, MedPage Today.